Hey there guys, this is just for horses. You can tell by the title video I'm doing my a video explaining my thoughts on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode five. So I'm a bit late on this, but that's my bad. I just wanted to get this video up. Overall, probably the strongest episode yet. It builds up the story they've been telling with the characters and just allows the story to go forward. Uh, the first thing we have is basically this massive fight between Captain America, the Falcon. And the Winter Soldier, it's an incredible fight. Like, just a simply incredible fight. He, Cap, John Walker's Captain America, destroys those wings, uh, Falcon's wings. But eventually they're able to break his arm and uh, take the shield. Falcon takes it, Winter Soldier takes it and drops it down by, um, uh, by Sam Wilson. And, yeah, so... Uh, next we have, he tells this mili his military friend, I forget the name, to keep the wings. I know he's Falcon in the comics, I think he's going to be the Falcon Sam Wilson with, with Captain America, but we'll see. And he go the Red Soldier goes over to Baron Zemo, who's at the Sokovia Memorial, and he, which he then kind of confronts and the, allows the Wakandans to take away. And mention that he's going to the raft. Sorry, my phone went off, which is a big kind of place. In the Marvel, especially for Spider-Man villains, they usually tend to go there, which, which is very interesting that they mentioned that. Um, so yeah, and he also asked for a favour, even so he should be giving them a favour for helping him, you know, not be all evil. But anyway, he asked for a favour and it's a briefcase, which is likely a new Captain America costume, which he gives Sam Wilson. Sam Wilson's already on this little journey during this time period, he's... He's going to, he meets Isaac Bradley, I believe the name of the character is, the black Captain America that was pretty much shunned by the society. And have this really in-depth conversation about racism that I just really appreciated the story they were telling about it. And the part that got me the most was when Isaac Bradley tells him, no, the, the America will never welcome a black Captain America. That even if they're dead, what, what black person would want to be Captain America, which is just like, wow, and this, it just shows the racism, because the, the racism, even I think in the very first episode, was a thing, when he wasn't given the loan, then he was stopped by police, and we find out about this, of a Captain America, who was pretty much helping them, but they realised what he was doing was wrong, so they captured him, and just used him for medicine, and the only reason he escaped was because a very kind doctor announced him, uh, made sure that he was declared dead and he so he could be sent free which is why he's not allowed to go out it's also led to him uh, being locked up his wife was sending him letters but he never got them because he wasn't allowed to get them his wife had died during that time and he just knew nothing about it it's quite a painful story and you could understand where he's coming from that Sam Wilson agrees to go home to his sister and we find out that they can't even sell the boat because it's the damage beyond repair. Winter Soldier comes in and they help fix the boat. The Winter Soldier's also flirting with his sister. And he's like, and Falcon's like, don't flirt with my sister, boy. <laughs> anyway, so they work together, build this, this ship. We get more cow to stuff between those guys. And um, they built it. And then they decide we can't sell it. It's part of our family. It's part of our history and lineage. Which also kind of tired into us in the way to present it with like culture and stuff. I don't know if that was intentional, but I don't know. Or I'm just thinking too much into it. Uh, during this time, there was the Flag Smashers, I believe they're called, agree uh, get some help to find a new Super Soldier by a man I forget the name of. But he was in the Winter Soldier. He was fighting Captain America on the boat in a fist battle. That guy. And he and someone was like, why are we working for criminals? It's like, she's like, bro, we are criminals. And I'm just like, yeah, it, I'm not too interested in their storyline. They have basic stuff. It's a decent enough uh, villain. I'm more into John Walker as the villain, which there's a lot to talk about there. So that's just something that's going on. Now let's talk about John Walker now. He's in that house. Of course, he's Kim killing someone seen around the world. So he goes to America to address it, and he says, you're not Captain America. All your medals are on and stuff. None of that's gone. No benefits for retirement. You've got nothing. And he's like... I don't think this is right. I am Captain America, which makes him an egotistical a-hole. Call me, refer to yourself as Captain America. Cap Steve Rogers never did that. <laughs> anyway, um, he says actually a really good point, because he's like, I am what you trained me to be. 
Like, he makes the point, and we see in the, the episode 4 of the conversation about, yes, he, they got awards for something he did in a country, or for something he did, but the way they got it wasn't that great, and didn't represent them well, and America still gave them these medals and honour and honoured him, but when that kind of situation is built on camera, they're sort of rejecting him. He's like, no, I'm Captain Ron. And they're like, no, you're not, boy. Give us, us the shield, but he doesn't have it. And he, Sam should probably keep the shield. And it is... And so, and as this conversation kind of moves on, um, he goes back, his wife or girl, whoever, is confirmed, say, trying to make a film. And then this woman, who's a value for him, is actually, but because I'm an idiot, I don't know who she is. She plays a character that was many things. She was the Luke Fury's girlfriend. I believe she lived the Thunderbolts. And he caught, tells how to make uh, this cat to make it's like, what do you know was right? And the biggest, the set, the greatest thing you'll ever do, apart from marrying this girl, is um, is that that you will you will answer my call when I call you. Apparently that's built into Thunderbolts thing. Apparently this character was originally going to be in Black Widow, but uh, because movies and shows were shift around, who knows? So yeah, that's kind of where John was at. He also has this conversation with um. His friend's family, because his friend died in the last episode, and he was just... My phone keeps going off, this is... And he, he tells... He's, that he makes his family under the impression that the person who killed is, is dead, like, they killed him, and he's... And they're fine, like... He, the person who killed him is dead, and he had peace to that. But he knows deep down, that person didn't kill him. And his goal is to kill the person that killed him now. Uh, so that's kind of where he's at. Next up we get this kind of training session where the cat with Winter Soldier and Falcon are working together to kind of master the shield. Um, which I, which is great. Um, which I like the scene. He, Winter Soldier apologises for getting all huffy about the shield. Because he, how would me or even Steve, uh, know what the shield would mean being Captain America would be. So that was, I did not think about that. I only thought about what it meant for me, and that was wrong. And I'm sorry. Um, which is a very interesting. Uh, but, and Falcon just goes straight. Someone says, "You you have a nightmare." So he's like, "Always. You need to make things right." And it's not avenging and getting capturing the people that you helped. It's by writing the people you did wrong. Which is basically a conversation. Which makes me feel like they're gonna go... He's gonna go and visit that old man we saw at the start of the show. And tell him the truth. Like, look. I, I killed your son. Which will be a very interesting conversation. Like, how would you do that conversation? I don't know how to do that conversation. But yeah. That would be a very... That's probably what they're going through. Uh, next. There's a big vote of whether they should let the, these, like, people leave. I forget the vote, but there's a big thing happening for the vote. And he's like, we don't have the vote, we can just let these people go. Which sounded a bit evil, but... Yeah, so you could, so you could kind of see where the villains are coming from. And then the lights go out, and, you know... The, and there's news about it, and Falcon's like, I know where the head's going. And that's kind of where the show ends. He... Oh, he opens the briefcase, looks at it, cuts the credit. I'm like, man. So, I think it, what is inside is a suit. That's obviously a suit made of vibranium, probably, because it's Wakanda. I feel like it's going to represent Captain America and black people and the culture. you got to think it's made from Wakanda, in Wakanda, and pretty much everyone that is from Wakanda is black. That's just the way it is. Um, so it's probably going to represent his culture as a black person, but also represent, uh, um, Captain America. I feel like it's going to be a really good balance, it's going to be a dope suit. Um, yeah, that's kind of where the show goes to credit it, but there is a post credit scene, it's John Walker building his own Captain America shield. This is looking like he's going to be this Marvel character called US Agent, which he's... And the real interesting thing, he's he's saying what he believes. That he believes that he is Captain America, and what he does is right because he's Captain America. And yeah, I like his story because he's just a man that was given too much responsibility, and he just crumbled under it because there was a lot of pressure that he felt that Steve never felt, which I think is interesting. 
overall, this was a fantastic episode. I'm so hyped for the last episode. And yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you um, enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section below what you thought of this episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Have you yet? Turn notifications on so you never miss video. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.